Please, turn off the ad block, subscribe, and share. Links will be below for anyone wanting to support this channel. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechViews Help. And today we are going to get into a Windows 10 how-to video. And this will work on Windows 8, by the way, so if you are running Windows 8, then go ahead. But um, we're going to get into the registry in this video. And because of this, if you mess up your computer, then that's purely on your head. But if you follow through everything I say, step by step, you should be fine. What we're going to do in this video is enable the logon sounds and a, a few other sounds. But we're going to enable logon sounds. The reason for this is we can't change the startup sound because it's built into the operating system itself. So what we want to do is actually enable where we can edit the logon sounds. And since we can't change the startup sound, we'll just keep that off and change the logon sound to whatever. There's going to be a few other sounds I'm going to show you how to enable. So there's a little bit bonus on this video. But again, the registry, it, it, the, to put this as layman's term as possible, the registry is like the nervous system, nervous system of the computer. If you mess up your own nervous system, like say um, around your back or whatever, you can paralyze yourself easily. And mess it in other areas, you can die. Like literally just die. But same thing with the computer. If you mess it up, you might lose all access to your keyboard and that's not reversible. If you mess it up somewhere else, you might permanently kill it. So keep that in mind. If you know what you're doing, that's great. If you don't, then uh, just follow through what I have to say. But keep in mind it's all in your head. Now, as far as things goes, uh, first things first is you need to find the sound that you want. And I have one here, and uh, make sure it's a WAV file, a dot .wav. To do that, so if you hover over it, it will say item type and WAV. Make sure it's only like a couple seconds long, like a second or two long. Anything beyond five, 10 seconds is way too long. You could do that, but you don't want to hear a minute long song every time that you crank up the thing. So the one I'm using is this. Philadelphia uplink successful. Welcome back, Commander. And this is from the rain meter theme I'm running, which is, by the way, live charts. These are actual real charts that are running in the background. But this loads up each and every time. I noticed with Windows 10, that sound could be delayed by 10 minutes when it's supposed to start when the computer starts itself. So we're going to um, just make that start on logon by default so what we need to do is let's go to the sound itself right now by going to the sound icon and by the way this is on the surface book and then if you don't see it down here then what you'll see is in the uh, this area but then what we need to do is go to sounds if we scroll all the way down to where it says user account, uh, Windows user account control, you shouldn't see Windows log on, log off, and fewer things, which is what we're going to enable. Make sure play Windows startup sound is unchecked because, again, this is built in, we can't change that but we're going to change the startup. So what we're going to do is, is now that we confirm that everything is like it should be, and if you do see it, then just change it from here and uh, skip ahead and I'll show you how to change that. But just press cancel so anything that you've done isn't saved. If you uncheck that one thing, then press okay. And what we need to do is go to the registry, just R E G edits oh, or regi edit that misspell it reg 
Yeah, edit. Sorry about that. And it should look like this. This is the registry. Again, this is the, if I had to put it in layman's terms, the nervous system of the computer. What you want to do is go to current users, app event, event label, go all the way down to Windows logon. Then go to exclude from CPL, double click that, and this should pop up. It should say one and then press zero. Just replace that one with zero. Now, if we go back to the start, uh, to the uh, sounds, scroll all the way back down. And, and some of this changes, it'll be somewhere on the list, but if we scroll all the way to our user account, and you see here the Windows logon. Now, I can further things by, um, and I'm just going to exit out so I can show you these things showing up. If we go to Windows log off, I can add that to by doing the exact same thing by just changing that one to zero. Windows unlock, exact same thing, one to zero. And even if you do this, it doesn't mean that there has to be a sound on it. You can be reserving this for later, so if at some later time you want to add a sound to this, then great. Now, there is a few other things on here, th this particular list right here that will allow you to do it. But keep in mind, do not change anything like this. Um, if, if it says exclude from CPL, and, and you're doing this on your own head, like for example right here, then you can change that to, from a one to a zero, but again, you're you're doing it on your own head at that point because things may change from your computer to mine. It's just these Windows log off, log on, and unlock are the things I'm really pushing for because chances are is most of the stuff you ain't gonna care too much about. Uh, maybe the critical beep alarm, but as you see here, you can't even add that. So there is a Aria battery alarm on there and everything. So you can exit out of that if you want, but we're going to go back down to the sound, sounds, and what we're going to do is again scroll all the way down, and we can see log on, unlock, so if I do unlock, I got that sound, log on, I got this sound. Now I can change it from in here or I can go to browse and I can change it to that and now whenever I log on, if I press apply, just make sure this will happen. Philadelphia uplink successful. Welcome back commander. So that will play and I, I can just change it before whatever else. Remember, whatever sound you pick, it really does need to be short because you're going to hear each and every time that you log on. And um, it needs to be a WAV file. Now, as far as that goes, that's uh, pretty much about it. And um, if you do have any questions on this, then feel free to let me know. And I'll try to take a look at it as quickly as possible. And feel free to let me know what sounds you picked to put on your computer as far as the startup sound. And um, feel free to let me know uh, if you want to add more information into this. Now, if you like this, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, share, and check out our Patreon campaign and donate there to help this channel grow. If you don't like this for whatever reason, go ahead and leave a dislike and let me know so I can fix it in future videos. But again, this has been Craig Bennett, founder of Owner Tech Views Nope, and hope you have a great day.